Welcome everybody, this is your boy Drada Matoro and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about the Sandy Shores Alive mod in Sandy Shores. So guys, like always, make sure you guys download all the requirements that is inside my description below. And make sure that you guys download the native UI.dll version 1.7 inside my downloads too. So guys, we're going to get straight into it. So once you guys have completed uh, installing and downloading your requirements, then all you guys gotta do next is download the mod i will leave this mod inside my description so you guys can download it i have already downloaded the mod so i don't need to download it once you guys have completed that then all you guys gotta do is go to your grand theft auto v game hover over it right click and open file location now as you guys can see this is a complete clean folder there's absolutely no mods in this folder, so we are going to install our requirements. Before you guys do install requirements, you must install OpenIV and connect your OpenIV into your game. So, once you guys have installed OpenIV, open up OpenIV, and then I'll go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. And now just wait for a few seconds. It depends on your PC performance. Once the application opens up, all you guys gotta do next is go to tools, go to ASI manager, and then now install your ASI loader, and then install your openiv.asi. And then when this application pops up, select yes, and then install open camera. Close your, close your files and then now just minimize your open IV and now guys we have completed that now we are going to install our requirements now make sure you guys got the latest requirements except for the native UI.dll version 1.7 now go to your script hook v extract folder open up your extract folder go into your bin folder and select input 8.dll script hook v.dll drag both files inside your gta v main folder now go into your script hook v.net extract folder and now select script hook v.net dot asi dot dll and dot xml drag those three files inside your gta v main folder and now guys we're gonna install our trainer v's open up your trainer v extract folder select trainer v dot asi and dot ini drag both files inside your grand theft auto v main folder and if this comes up guys because i already put it in there so just replace the files now guys we are going to install menu open up your menu extract folder select menu stuff folder and menu.asi drag both files inside your gta v main directory and now we are going to install our map reveal and open interiors i will be putting map reveal and open interiors inside my downloads so make sure you guys download that too Open up your map reveal and open interiors and copy all three files and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And now all you guys got to do next, okay, is right click, refresh your folder, right click again, create a new folder, name that folder scripts. Press enter once, press enter again, and now we are in our scripts folder. Open up your map editor extract folder. Now copy all of the files and folder inside the extract folder and now paste it onto your 
Scott folder. Now guys, go down to my downloads and download native UI version 1.7. I have already got it over here. So guys, once you guys have down downloaded the native UI extract folder from my downloads inside my description, all you gotta do now is open up your native UI extract folder. Then now select native UI.dll and drag it into your script folder. Now this application will pop up, okay? Just replace the files. Now we have installed map editor. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main directory, right click and then refresh your game folder. Exit out of your game folder and now exit out of your, uh, all of your requirements. And now guys, we are going to install map builder. To install map builder guys, make sure you go to the link inside my description. And now this is map builder guys, okay? All you guys gotta do, okay, is download map builder. Do not download it from here. Just scroll down the bottom over here, guys. Download map builder from here. And then now uh, it will redirect you to this page over here. Once you guys come to this page, just scroll down a bit, okay? Scroll down and come over here on your left hand side and then click on it. Click on map builder. Now wait for a few seconds. Scroll down just a little bit more and then now click on continue reading. Now guys, here we go. All you guys gotta do is download game config package and download the mod over here. So guys, download game config package and download the mod from here, okay? I have already downloaded the game config package and the mod so I don't need to download it. Once you guys have already downloaded, okay, then we're gonna go and install it. Open up your game config package. Now, select on your game config package dot OIV and drag it onto your desktop. I have already done that, so I don't need to do it. Now, what we are going to do now, guys, is that since we got our two files already ready up here, all you guys gotta do is go to your tools, go to package installer, and then now we are going to install game config first. Select game, <coughs> select game config package.oiv and then uh, select open, then push install and then install it into your mods folder. And then now uh, confirm installation. And now guys, this installation will take about a minute or two minutes. It depends on your PC performance. So guys, I'm gonna wait for a few seconds because it will take about 50 seconds. Now guys, it didn't take a, uh, take about 50 seconds. It took a, like, like about 20 seconds. So guys, once the installation is finished, don't run the game just yet. Just close your files. And now go back to your tools again and go back to your package installer. And now we are going to install our community props. Now go to open and now click on install and now install it into your mods folder and now confirm installation. Now guys, just to let you know, this part over here may take about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or 20 minutes or sometimes 30 minutes. It all depends on your PC performance. So guys, I'm gonna pause the video right here and I will see you guys once the installation is completed. Now guys, once the installation is completed, all we're gonna do now guys is don't go into the game just yet. Just close your application and now close your open IV. Now guys, what we're gonna do now is that we are going to install the mod. Yes, we are going to install the mod. Now guys, so go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now, all we gotta do guys is go to your Sandy Shore Alive extract folder. And then now we are going to install it guys, okay? 
and then now go to your Sandy Shields Alive 1.7.2 folder and then now all you guys got to do okay you don't have to do anything all you got to do is select your sandy.xml file and then now drag it onto your Grand Theft Auto main folder that's all you guys got to do okay and now exit out of your extract folder right click and refresh your folder and then exit out of your Grand Theft Auto V folder and now right click refresh your desktop and then I'll see you guys in the game now guys as you guys can see we are here now and we are with Franklin so all you guys gotta do okay is press F7 and you'll open up map editor scroll down to load map and then go to file chooser and then now go right down the bottom guys and you'll see sandy.xml and press enter once and then your teleport right over here guys okay uh, it will take about roughly about a minute two minutes or maybe three minutes depending on your PC performance and you now your teleport next to Trevor's house so just wait for a few seconds guys and then we will be finished okay welcome back guys and the installation is now completed and the map has been loaded so as you guys can see that Trevor's house is completed and is still in good shape um, to get into his house all you need to do is come up here go to the ladder and then there you go and then now uh, yeah uh, but the house isn't that much of a good house but yeah it's all right you can see a few things here so yeah it's a it's a neat house uh, and there's a few other stuff around here guys but guys just to let you know the reason why this mod is called is called Sandy Shores because the whole of Sandy Shores has been modded so um, so guys the mod is is quite big okay so what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna fly the drone around because it will take about an hour to go around the whole place okay guys so I'm gonna go over here in the middle around here somewhere I think this is the middle over here and then I'm gonna press F9 to fly the drone so guys we're gonna start over here okay oh uh, yeah we're gonna start over here to the main road now as you guys can see there's a few things over here like caravan uh, yeah like a caravan can we get in there oh yes we can there's a few things in here nice oh wow well, oh wow well, we can't get in there but yeah and um is the house in here i don't think we can get in here yeah and there's a cave in here more houses uh yeah i just wish that uh rockstar would have like put houses around here like this it just makes the whole place alive instead of dead there's uh, a house over here a nice house over here uh, there's a lunch bar over there, there's another house and there's a more other stuff over here like these props uh, yeah these are more houses, more houses there's a skate park over here more houses and I think there's a few motels and hotels here too pretty cool so yeah, I'm um, sorry guys, um, I know I'm, I am running through this whole map um fast but it's just that if i take my time it's gonna be really really long i uh, think there's nothing up there yep yeah, nothing up there and now there's a few houses here too guys and over here too you know, a few houses over here and this looks like the ramp yep and we've got a few houses here too I think we got something over here somewhere. Hmm, I forgot where. Oh yeah, we got like a coffee stand over here and a fruit and veggie stand over here. That's pretty cool. We got more houses over here, and we got this over here too. Uh, and we got this too. Uh. Uh, hot dog stand so that's pretty cool um um they added like 
extra textures around the building around the place too um we've got this too guys this building over here and i think there's a pizza barn around here somewhere i think and we've got another lady over here that's just chilling we've got a dock over here where you can catch a boat nice we've got listener uncle listener over there and over here we've got um boats and a jacuzzi yeah and people can start racing and over here we've got more things over here too guys so uh, yeah uh over here we've got what's over here oh, more houses too and over here oh yeah over here guys this is where the boat is and the submarine all you, all you gotta do guys is just come through here and then I come through this door and then now you can jump into the submarine pretty cool guys i hope you guys did like the video okay i'm very very sorry guys that the video is a bit longer than usual but uh, it's just that um installing the requirements is needed so because um uh because a lot of people will get stuck with this mod so make sure you guys do follow the t follow the tutorial and make sure you guys install native ui version 1.7 okay do not install 1.8 or 1.9 because it will not work and your game will crash so guys like always i hope you guys did like the video if you guys did please smash that like button and if you guys are new here subscribe for more daily gaming content and i will see you guys on my next video thank you for watching guys peace and i'm out Bye.